Also on lawmakers' minds this go-round, medical marijuana. It was a hot topic today as former TV host and medical marijuana advocate Montel Williams spoke in Annapolis. 11 News reporter Kai Reed was there. Some of us don't even have the ability to get to the battlefield. But we don't want to be considered a criminal just... Former talk show host and Maryland native Montel Williams broke down in tears several times as he talked about his struggle with multiple sclerosis and the pain he endures on a daily basis. He says he uses marijuana twice a day to manage his pain. I have been living with neuropathic pain in my lower extremities my face and my side for 10 years, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, period, doesn't go away. Williams was in Annapolis this afternoon advocating for the legalization of medical marijuana in the state of Maryland. Delegate Dan Morheim and Senator David Brinkley will introduce a bill this week almost identical to the one that passed the Senate by a vote of 35 to 12 last legislative session but stalled in the House. Under the bill, marijuana would have to be prescribed by a physician to a patient who is registered with the state. The marijuana would be grown in a state facility and be dispensed through a licensed facility such as a pharmacy. Proponents say the bill is about improving the quality of life of patients who are sick or dying. But recovering addict and anti-drug advocate Mike Gimbel disagrees. This is not about sick people. If it were about sick people, they would be lobbying the Food and Drug Administration. Study this drug. If it's a good drug, let's get it on the market like we do every other drug. But this is about legalizing it. Gimbel does not support the bill, but thinks it will pass in Maryland, just as similar ones have in 14 other states, including New Jersey. Williams told legislators today he will help fight to make sure that happens. I will come back here to the state to help you administer this. I will help you put together the regulations that you're going to need to put together to stop making the mistakes that other states have made and help you form a system that patients can get off the battlefield and start living a life like everybody else. The writers of this legislation say it has broad bipartisan support from every geographic area of the state, and they feel very confident in its chances of passing. Reporting in Annapolis, Kyrie to WBAL-TV 11 News.